Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm just gonna do like a wood yard update. It's been a while. So nothing really specific, kind of just random. Uh, but first we'll just do a, a little kiln update. Today's day three. It's like th three and a half days currently. So let's take a look here. Did a wood delivery today. So as of this morning, which was exactly three days, I did a, a dump of moisture. So it's currently at 144, 38% relative humidity in the kiln. So I'm gonna open it up while we walk around and we'll come back and take a look at what it's at. So remember it's at 38. So let's get this open here. So, and I saw this this morning. You can see all the wood starting to crack really good. So that's a good sign for how dry this thing is. So it's working. So we're gonna leave the doors open for a little bit. Leave that open. Let that moisture come out. So. When I saw that this morning with the wood cracking, I was like, wow. So just goes to show you, not putting in <laughs> fresh, fresh cut split wood is ideal. So, fucking bugs. Boiler's been running good. I finally, the other day, put that exhaust fan in that I wanted to. Yes, it's not ideal with the plug, but I'm gonna remedy that here shortly. I'm gonna have an outlet with a switch probably installed down here. So all I gotta do is flip that on. So it, it definitely works. I'd say it probably removes like 70% of the smoke or whatnot that comes out. So I, I'm probably still gonna do like an overhead, whatever you wanna call it. So got, you know, kind of framed it out a little bit. So I got to put a piece of tin on that side. I kind of ran out of the brown stuff. So but that's all scraps that I've had left over. So it wasn't like I was wasting anything by putting that. Because obviously I don't want water or snow coming in there. Uh, what else? I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. Obviously, those are the old or the panels. And you can see all the posts right there. So I started putting posts in the ground for the rest of the uh, array for the EcoFlow. So it's work in progress. Digging holes here is terrible. This is what you get. All this rock that comes out of the holes, all those big ones came out. So it takes a lot of time. And I'm digging it with the, the auger on the tractor too. So it's, it's kind of a pain, but we're there. So I got to put more posts in the ground, get it framed out. And then she'll be ready to go. Working on still, haven't done it yet, as you can tell. Putting a French drain in here to get the water. It's hard to tell, but this slopes downhill so it doesn't run into there and have a drain out that way. So a lot of projects. But no boiler's been running great. What I come to find is I always I don't want to say overload it for 12 hours, but I do. So I, I, I already know how much I'm going to be putting through there for the load that's on it with the kiln, because that's really the only load besides the hot water tank, which is virtually nothing. Um, but I always throw in probably five, six, you know, extra pieces like this. Well, that's still pretty small for a boiler, but that's it's bigger than, it's probably three times the size of a standard split. So just so I keep a decent coal bed, because otherwise, if you lose a coal bed on this, you can still keep a fire going, but if the wood's not, say, as dry as it should be, it, you have a trouble keeping it going. So, a bunch of boiler wood that was made recently. These were like the bigger logs that wouldn't fit on the processor. As you could tell, some of this is real punky, and you can see it here, that's punky. So instead of like, 
fumbling around with it to try to get some good splits like that I just said hey screw it we just made all boiler wood I mean look at this this is not not good I'm not gonna sell that to anybody even though it's like bone dry but they act like a sponge you know so I mean look at this that's not good that's beach there so a bunch of boiler wood I still have all my boiler wood up there all production wood that needs to be dried still that's all fresh cut still have a bunch of my oak over there all right let's check on it now so we are at 38 percent now we're down to 25 24 and dropping so definitely lost a ton of moisture in the air just by opening the doors for what five minutes so i'll get this closed up here quickly tell you what when oak's drying i think it smells pretty good but uh yeah i'll get this closed up and i got one more thing to show you guys so stay tuned all right so you can see i built a new log holder i guess you could call a log rack because obviously that's the old stuff which i got to get out of here which is all rotten blah 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 so i think that'll hold the logs no problem now if this was flat i probably wouldn't do that but like from here to the bend up there it's probably eight feet difference at least so there's a pretty good grade here so that's to keep the logs from obviously rolling down to the road there so not that it would really do that but so i built that today to get ready for uh the next batch of logs just trying just looking to see if it's straight enough yeah it looks fine maybe fix it a little bit to the left but yeah i think that'll uh that'll hold them i should be getting a load here in the next or pretty much whenever i tell him he's got them so just got to give him the yay so but yeah that's why i was kind of rushing to get all those logs done not only that i can sell all that once i dry them so but yeah that's kind of what we've been up to here in the wood yard so yeah I'll tell you what i'm these last couple days it's been a little cooler which is nice because i'm you know a lot of people probably like it when it's in the upper 70 80s close to 90s but when you're working on or cutting trees man is it hot maybe i'm just getting old i don't like the heat anymore i don't know i'd much rather it be in the 50s 40s when you're working so but yeah that pretty much that's all i got for you guys really um kiln's doing way better than i anticipated i'm still thinking it's probably gonna go seven days which is better than 13 it's half roughly half the time so but we'll see i kind of had a feeling after yesterday which was day two when i saw the moisture starting to come down because on day two in the morning it was still pretty high like 50 percent but last night when i checked it was already down into the kind of where it was at so i know it's going down which is good and then when like i said when i opened it to see all those cracks in there i'm like that's huge so i didn't see that on the at last batch till like day 10 11 ish and it just took forever to get that moisture down so i'm already ahead of the game so this goes to show you don't don't throw in fresh fresh cut wood especially if it's oak just because it retains so much water now when i do that with normal mixed hardwood not with oak in it six days max and that wood is bone dry so like i said i, I kind of have everything down to a science now which is good because i definitely want to still make and have a larger larger kiln but i'm gonna have so much more heat load on it more fans and really try to crank it up you know temp wise maybe because i can get that up to 160 on the last day it'll hold that but i want to be able to get it to 160 like by the second day not day five i know my parameters and stuff will have to change but we'll see that's down the road i don't know if i'll get to that this year or not probably not i've been so busy with trees i mean tomorrow i got to do 15 quotes which is good it just i just there's just not enough time in the day so 
But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, on the last video, I talked about, you know, going to Paul Bunyan, and some of you guys commented, so I'm excited to see some of you guys that are going. So if you didn't watch the last one, the wife and I will be at Paul Bunyan show this year. So if you're going, I'd like to know. If you can't make it, I understand. Uh, but I'd like to meet a lot of you guys, um, not just the YouTubers, but a lot of guys that comment that's new firewood, that don't have a channel, and be nice to meet, you know, put a face to uh, all the comments and messages and emails back and forth that we do. So, uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think, but as always, keep burning.